So here we have a stump of a black cherry tree that I cut down. It's already growing up again. So let's get the rhino ripper and remove the stump. The actual stump removal part of this video is shown without fast play or removal of sections to show the actual time and process that is required to remove this tree stump. Even though it's not a huge stump, it's still way too large to take it out in one go. So therefore the first step is to use the rhino ripper to penetrate the ground at some distance away from the stump to rip off the large roots running towards the sides. Moving the ripper from within the ground upwards using only the front loader can already cut many of the roots. But for very thick roots that can't be cut directly this way, the teeth at the top side of the ripper can be used to grasp the root and by then simultaneously making small forward and backward movements and thereby also using the traction of the compact tractor to create a horizontal force as well, the thick roots can be loosened within the ground making them much weaker and can then be broken up using the teeth on top of the ripper. Here you see an example of the ripper positioned in the ground and doesn't want to move upwards. Most probably the blade is positioned under a large root that is too thick to cut directly. So the next step is then to move somewhat further away from the stump center and see if at this larger distance the root has become weak enough so it can be cut by the ripper. And in this case you see that at this larger distance the ripper is indeed able to cut through this section of the stump side. This approach is then repeated for all sides to, to cover as much as possible the whole perimeter of the stump. And here you see a nice example of a root taken up that has already been cut earlier by the Rhino Ripper. Here you see the process from the other side. The location of the stump in this view is indicated by the point of the label. Some people worry about bending of the front loader during this type of work. However, as long as you ensure an upward force by the front loader, as is the case in this video, there will be tension in the cylinder bars. And with tension in the cylinder bars, bending cannot occur, no matter how far the cylinders are extended. In the link above, this type of physics of front loader bending is explained in more detail.
Watching carefully, you can see that the stump is already giving quite some movement while clearing out the roots around it. This is a clear indication that the larger roots have been effectively cut and the stump is ready to be taken out. As just demonstrated, taking out a stamp like that only takes a few minutes with the Rhino Ripper. There's no need for a spade or an axe doing some cutting or digging. Thick roots are being cut out by the long blade of the Ripper. And the stump is removed by the point, lifting it up. In the link above you will find the video where the design and the creation of this homemade device is being discussed. And with the Rhino Ripper taking out stamps, even becomes a fun thing to do. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and see you next time.